superintendent made a request to rebudget to the commissioners. So I, I'm having trouble understanding what wasn't properly done. Well, rebudget was, was out of capital outlay. We took we took our money and rebudgeted that, and and, and you know, four hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars has to come out of something. And what we did was was uh, get rid of uh, some flooring projects, and we we. You know, shuffle those aside? We no, no, let me correct that. Not true. We did not shuffle those aside. The only money that we got in this project was the $150,000 for the two buses. The rest of them were leftover money, and we went to the county commissioners and asked them to move. We met, the board approved it, and then we went to the county commissioners. We have a letter from the county to move this money. Madam Chair, let me, so about, yeah. let me say something about the capital improvement plan. When, um, when Ms. Pascal and um, sitting on mic over, when we met originally to talk about capital improvement plan projects and what goes in that, they were very, the county administrators were very specific. Usually you talk about capital improvement plans. Uh, Colonel is right. Originally, the, the original figure was fifty thousand dollars. We started with. I think next year you'll see it go to at least a hundred. That's what Renee and Vicky want us to think, consider. Also, capital improvement is usually projects that take more than one fiscal cycle and usually require some kind of debt financing or some kind of longer-term planning on the part of the county. So it is possible to have projects in our capital outlay budget that can be more than $100,000, but because they don't require more than one fiscal cycle, they don't have to be included in the capital, out, the, the capital improvement plan. So generally, you think about capital improvement in terms of longer term, more than one fiscal cycle. That's why all your building projects are in that. And it usually takes some degree of debt financing from the county to take care of that. That's why we have the plan. And I think there's some confusion between the terminology of capital improvement plan and capital outlay budget. Correct. The reason the discussion we had was that we did not include the bleachers in the capital improvement plan because it was something we could do within the fiscal year and not of monies that was available. From the state, the state just said they were in uh, one capital last year budget. and one this year. In the outlay budget, capital outlay budget. Mm -hmm. No, in capital improvement, is that what you said? Mike, you recognize Chairman this year? Uh, yes, let me add to what Ms. Little just said. The capital improvement plan is. Um, is the big projects, for example, the middle school, the high school, our judicial building, the expansion of our Siler City Community College, and the, and the one here in Pittsburgh, the judicial building. Those are capital improvement programs that uh, projects that we uh, borrow over, for them over about a 20 to 30 year period. Uh, so we pay them over that period of time. Uh, the Northwood uh, renovations at 5.5 million is part of that plan. The North Chatham Elementary School cafeteria is part of the capital outlay, which is going to be, which is basically taken out of our general fund, and we don't borrow money for it. And the same thing would be true of the bleachers. The same thing is true of the renovations of the science labs at the three high schools, and and the asbestos uh, floor replacement, the windows at Chatham Central, uh, their replacement. They're all taken out of the capital outlay. And this last year. Uh, my recollection is, uh, uh, we could get an exact number, but there was about two and a half million, I think, in the capital outlay for the schools that would do those sorts of things, like the bleachers, the science labs, the enhancement of the security systems, and so forth. And the, um, uh, the, the, the Northwood bleachers were on, the, were on the capital outlay. I can't remember what was budgeted for them, but they were on the capital outlay uh, 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 line sheet. That, uh, that we approved when we approved the budget back in June. June 16th, I think we approved it. Um, there were some things that were not approved on there that, uh, for example, the, the new lights at Northwood, and I think that will come in a later time, and a few other things at other schools. Uh, but for the most part, the entire capital outlay budget was approved, and I think it was about two and a half million dollars. But that's separate, that's a separate pot of money in a sense than what's used for the major projects such as the new schools or major renovations. For example, when we, when we renovated the cafeteria at uh, Jordan Matthews, that came out of the 
capital improvement projects and borrowed money for it. My response to this is that uh, the practice, this practice is quite normal. Uh, a school district going to the county commissioners and requesting how uh, unused fund balance and capital outlay can be rebudgeted to cover the cost of another project or projects that remain open in the school district. Uh, in early July, while we were balancing our 0708 capital projects budget, um, Ms. Little may be aware of this, uh, that we had the 38,785, 35 uh, from the 26 projects. Uh, all of those projects came in under budget. All 26 of those projects came in under budget, and we had that much of those funds remaining in the capital outlay budget from 0708. Now, if we don't ask for that money to be used for something, the school system loses the money. It's quite typical for a superintendent to go to the county commissioners and request that that money be used for another project. When we contacted um, the county, we asked Ms. Pascal how they wish for us to handle this, and she indicated that she would speak with the county manager, the county commissioners, and determine how to proceed. We were then told to prepare a budget sheet of what the balance was for each one of the projects and what we would like to then rebudget the money for. Uh, I went Mr. Moody on July 15th. Mr. Moody, um, myself, along with uh, Ms. Little, went over. Um, Mr. Todd, you were present in your role as liaison between the Board of Education and the Board of County Commissioners. And at their request, we presented the, we presented our request for what that money be used for, that the uh, 38785-35 balance be used against the Northwood Bleacher project because we knew that we had an overage on that project and we wanted to use it for that purpose. Uh, I would point out to the board that failure to act may have meant that we would have lost the money or the opportunity to use those resources. There's nothing unusual about this. It's well within the scope and the responsibility of the superintendent. Um, to do this, it's, the practice is quite common around the state, and um, we abided by the request of the county commissioners. How did you? And I, I appreciate the county commissioners. They don't have to say that we can use that. They could use it for something else. They could go back to their fund balance and they could use it for something else. So I'm appreciative that they uh, allowed us or approved the rebudget of this to go against the Northwood Bleacher project. So that's my response to. Uh, to Mr. Totten's second item. Madam 